Here with Ian Anderson after a 0 0 draw with Hungerford Town at Clarence Park on Saturday afternoon. Ian, we could remain unbeaten, but it was a tough game, wasn't it? Really tough game. I felt first 20 minutes, uh, Jake, we were very good. I thought we moved the ball really quickly um, and, and, and looked on the front foot, looked very good. There was a couple of challenges that went in and it sort of changed the, the pattern of the game. And we got a little bit embroiled with, with the referee, a little bit embroiled with the, with the, with the challenges and, and it sort of knocked us out of our, our way a little bit. Um, and I never felt we would gain that composure for the rest of the game. Um, we was, you know, from the sidelines about passing it and keeping the ball. Um, but you know, as I said before, you know, we've got to take the, the positive is that we, we got a clean sheet. Uh, we remain unbeaten uh, and we picked a point up where probably this time last year we'd have lost today. Um, so loads of positives to take from the game. Um, and you can't play well every week. And the one thing is you do if you don't play well is make sure that you don't lose the game first and foremost. And we could have even nicked it in the last sort of five or six minutes with the one that's cleared off the line. Though we wouldn't have deserved it. Um, in this league, you take anything you get at any stage, as we've said before. So, you know, we're, we're better than that, what I showed, than what we showed today. And that, that, that's probably the only disappointment in my in my mind is that we've got better players than that and uh, though they've had to defend for their for their lives at times and they've put their their neck and their head on the line which has been great uh, and we've kept a clean shoot I think in terms of the way we passed the ball we're better than what we showed today. You mentioned uh, some tackles there there's a few decisions that I think just went against us didn't they especially during the first half? Well I, I think so without a shadow of a doubt um, you know I've had a text from from somebody who was watching the game um, and and, and it's difficult because, as I say, it's it's things that the referee haven't seen, which disappoints me. Um, and I thought the first challenge on Tom Bender and certainly the one on Kyron were, were if not a red card, they're certainly a yellow card. Um, and then Manash makes a, a, a trivial little tackle and gets a yellow card for it. So they're all the things I think frustrate managers, frustrate players. And I think they, they did their job in terms of stopping us playing, which is great. That's what football's all about. Um, but we didn't come back to that level, I think, after after sort of 22, 23 minutes. And I think for the rest of the game, we really struggled to put four or five passes together. I didn't think we were bright enough in terms of keeping the ball. We didn't move the ball quick enough. And when we got in some good areas, our quality wasn't good enough. Even though, the, you know, we've had to go and defend in numbers for long periods. Um, but I think we're slightly better than what we showed today. You mentioned the defence, but also Michael Johnson has to make another a couple of important saves, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been important for us, Michael. He's done great in terms of that side of it. Um, and today, you know, especially in the second half, for two or three minutes, it's early in the second half, they got two chances, um, and he's had to make two or three, and they got him three or four times, especially, especially as the game went on. Um, but you know, and as I said it before the game, and I'll say it now, you know, they, they've got two really bright forwards um, who, who chase lost causes. We've seen some of the goals that they've scored against uh, Slough and Tombridge, where they literally pressed the keeper. Uh, and they did that today, um, so it's not a it's it's not a coincidence. It, it's a good habit they've got, uh, and and that the front two set the pattern of the way they play. And uh, they were two really good forwards today, and and they were a handful. Um, and we've had to go and and we've had to go and, and, and defend in numbers. Um, and when we did go forward, we probably didn't get up and support Sean and Mitchell quick enough, uh, and the quality of the balls to them wasn't good enough. And, and but that's football at the end of the day. Sometimes you can't play well every week. And you've got to give hunger for a bit of credit for the way they've come here and, and stopped us playing. We've had two games now. We've had to really dig in. Are you happy to have Tuesday evening off now because the wedding game is postponed? I am in one way, um, but in another way is I still feel we're 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 not quite up to match fitness or match fitness levels. You know, I've always said you probably need half a dozen games to to get, and we keep having this ten day break um, where we've had the FA Cup, um, and then we've had um, not having Oxford City to play in the FA Cup the week after and then we had our break which is because only 21 teams in the league so every time you think you're going to get a bit of continuity and get the players up to a full full level of match fitness we have this 10 day break and I just think we're just falling a little bit short of where we need to be in terms of the match fitness we've trained hard we've trained as, as long as we can do um, but training uh, doesn't make up for playing games and uh, I feel we're a little bit short on match fitness and that's where I think maybe the difference is from Tuesday to today two games in four days it's just taken a little bit of toll and we looked a little bit leggy out there, I felt. Four or five players today looked as if their legs were, were still recovering from Tuesday night. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Ian. Thanks very much.